Good morning, we are back in Got Samui. We just returned from a two week road trip. We went to Kaolak, Phuket, and Panga. So if you haven't watched those three videos, make sure to do so after you watch this one. So today we're going to take you to our favorite braised chicken noodle shop. The place is called Koi Tiok Kai Tun Mara and it is a local gem here in the Menam area. And don't be fooled if you look them up on Google review because they only have like six reviews. But that is because only local people go there and you won't ever see foreigners really eating there. After we eat, we will also go to a newer coffee shop in the Menam area. Let's go eat. Usual table. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Our favorite braised chicken noodle. We are really lucky today because we came here before the crowds. We are here like what 10:30 today. Yeah. And usually this is a very popular place for lunch for the local people. It's it's more like a working class kind of place. So it sells out by 1, 1.30. We kind of wake up late and we always miss it. We would drive by and they're like, sorry, sold out. So we're so lucky we got to eat it today. <laughs> so I got the, basically braised like everything. There is braised chicken feet, braised uh, chicken thigh. There's also some shredded chicken in here as well. And you can of course choose to not have chicken feet, which is completely okay and it's still very delicious, but it's actually one of our favorites, <laughs> chicken feet. We usually would even order a side of just chicken feet. And I ordered the these noodles. This is called Sen Mi Kao and it is like small, like thin vermicelli noodles. I really like these because they absorb a lot of the flavor in the soup, but then I have to eat it really quick or else it will get soggy the fastest. But Note usually likes the senlek, so it's the medium-sized rice noodles, the more chewy ones. Yeah. Yeah. Always when you eat noodles, you must taste the broth before you do anything silly and add too much of something in there. So let me taste it. Mm. Even though it is already delicious, but it's not complete yet. <laughs> we have to add quite a lot of stuff in there because that's the way like Thais like to enjoy noodles. So first one is, we have here is peanuts. Is it a common thing to add peanuts to braised chicken noodles? Yes. And yeah. also tom yum noodles. They and tom yum noodles, yeah. Actually, you can get tom yum braised chicken noodles too. We've never tried it here because we really like the normal braised one. But I think that would be amazing. Maybe I'm gonna go for a second bowl anyway. Let's <laughs> order that. Okay, we'll try the tom yum braised chicken. One spoon of vinegar. Here they have this like roasted chili paste. So I'll put some of that in there. And my favorite, white pepper. I'll put some of that in there. If you go to any like Thai noodle shops, you will notice they have a little self-service station where you can get your own herbs. And they would most likely have basil and bean sprouts. And you just grab as much or as little as you need so you don't waste too much. Oh, look at all of the bone. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't have to do anything, just mix it and the meat fell off. Wow. Mm. Mm. I think the special thing about this noodle soup is the broth. They probably like boil it overnight mm -hmm. and it's, it would be mixed with yesterday's soup. So the flavor just keep building up bolder and bolder, tastier and tastier every day. Sometimes they, they run out of something. They cannot make more really quickly because all of the braised chicken, they take a long time to cook. Just imagine all the juice and the fat that comes off the, you know, the chicken skin, the chicken fat. Mm -hmm. oh, so good. You had the chicken feed yet? I feel awkward eating it on camera though. <coughs> Cheers. <laughs> You usually don't cover your mouth like that. You usually just go 
Tweet. <laughs> what do you mean I'm a lady? <laughs> I think we're missing one thing though. Mm -hmm. You want to go get one? Oh, okay. okay. It needs an extra crunch. Crispy pork rind mm. for you. Okay. Can you have how crispy it is? Mmm. These are always so good on noodles. I'm just gonna throw a couple in here. And you wanna soak them a little bit. Mmm. That's what it's missing is a little crunch. Flo and I probably eat noodles almost every day it's mm -hmm. either for breakfast for lunch or for dinner i think it's like part of the culture mm -hmm. noodles is such a big part of thai cuisine so many noodle shops in thailand are family run just like this place so this one usually we when we come here we see the mom cooking the she, mom and dad the mom and dad cooking and then the two kids help out and like deliver noodles at tables and clean up and stuff Today we see, it looks like grandma grandma or in-law, someone, mm -hmm. yeah, someone else. And it's funny because the kids usually don't want to work. They would be just sitting at the back playing with their phones and then when the customer comes, the mom, the grandma would be like, are you going to take care of the yeah. customers? <laughs> are you going to clean the table? <laughs> Typical, if I was that age, I wouldn't want to work yeah. too. But now, if my mom had a noodle shop, I'll be like, wow, I want to work there. <laughs> mom, how do you make it so delicious? <laughs> yeah. yeah, but if I was like 16, probably they didn't care. Let's <laughs> ba <laughs> I ask for everything. Wow, look at that. Like the broth is a completely different color. It's almost like tomato-y looking. No, I was watching him uh, mix the broth. They used the clear broth uh -huh. and he mixed it with fresh lime, oh. tom yum chili paste, milk. Interesting. I'm going to try the broth. I'm really curious. Wow, oh, that's okay. Yeah. It does have a tomato -y taste to it. I can't believe we've been missing out. We never ordered this one. <laughs> we hear people order it, but we just like the original so much. Wow. You have to try this. It smells so strong. Just that strong chili paste. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get this uh, blood jelly. Mm. It is a bit sweet because I saw him use uh, like a tablespoon full of sugar in there. Mm -hmm. And the blood actually tastes pretty good. Really? It doesn't have that smell. I thought it would have that irony smell, but it's not. So which one do you prefer? The normal herbal broth. Because eating like a whole bowl, then you would find the, um, well I would find the Dom Yum one a bit heavier and sweeter so I think next time when we come back I'm still gonna have the original <laughs> <laughs> it's still the best braised chicken noodle place in Samoy the total bill was 170 baht it was only 50 baht a bowl plus pork rinds another 20 baht very delicious are you ready for coffee I'm ready for coffee let's go We are here at Kuhn Pottery and Coffee. We love coming to this place because the owners are always so friendly. <laughs> and the coffee is really good. And I always get the same thing. It is the caramel shakerado because it is so delicious. And because they have almond milk. <laughs> I'm gonna try this yuzu espresso. Oh, it looks good. Mm -hmm. Wanna share one? Sure. Yeah, we'll share uh, almond croissant. Okay, ka. <laughs> ka we always come for coffee and enjoy the AC. Yeah, it's <laughs> always nice and cool here. So the two owners here love two things, pottery and coffee. So looking around the shop, you're going to see a lot of little 
plants in these cute ceramic pots and I believe you can purchase all these pots. There's some that are kind of on the side that you can look at with little prices underneath, but there's also more that are in the room that's close to where the washroom is. Oh, wow. This is my usual. Come on, cross on Wow. Smells nice. Got my yusu. What did I get? Yuzu espresso. Yuzu espresso. There's a piece of candied orange in there too. It's sweet but not too sweet. And uh, the orange has that very nice uh, unique smell. Oh, it's like a soda. Mm -hmm. Espresso like it's fizzy. There's no soda though. It's fizzy, isn't it? I think it's a yuzu soda with espresso. Mm. Very nice though. Very refreshing. Mm. So we both love traveling around Thailand and we've been doing that for almost two years now but it's been really tempting to see a lot of countries opening up around us yeah the Philippines are opening Bali. Vietnam yeah. Bali Indonesia Sri Lanka and Cambodia yeah we have to do a bit of research to see where we want to go next but we wanted to mention this to you guys because where would you go next? If uh, you could leave us a little comments in the description or in the comment box down below, it might help us decide where we go next because we always want to film some content that you guys are interested in too. Hope you enjoyed this little episode we have here in Koh Samui. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next one. As always, have a wonderful day. Bye. Bloopers. Oh, look at the chicken feet. <laughs> Tons of people getting beautiful house plants. Like, Don't touch it. You might kill it with the oil from your hand. Oh really? These are expensive, you know? They're probably like at least 10,000 baht. I'm scared now. I touched it. Miss, you are ready. We'll be right back. We're gonna go for lunch, okay? Miss, you are ready. Okay? Yeah, yeah.